So we can wait. We can wait till we get to that whatever that action item was. So I was just kind of where we were. I was going to give an update on the compounds of enamine because um, I've been having issues trying to order from them. I haven't gotten a quote properly for a while, and now I finally got it, and I got issues with the university um, because. They will be not delivered here, but there. So now I have put another requisition to get sent the compounds here, and then I can send it to the SSGC ID. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be the easiest way at the moment. But I haven't been able to follow up in the past weeks because it's been a bit crazy here. So yeah, um, but I will follow up and see what happened with that because it should have gone through already, and I will make sure. Um, that has happened. Um, so that's on the enemy compounds. Um, yeah, so uh, SSGCID were waiting for the AGO6 compounds so they could do the clock crystallizations. So we have a list somewhere of actually what compounds you're talking about and which isozymes? This is JO6 and we said- um, Okay, so you're just trying, you're just talking about JO6 itself. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. In terms of crystallography at Warwick, um, these are not great, going great. Uh, we're having issues with the um, mosquito, um, the setup that we have here. We are having issues with that. So I'm trying to fix that. I just set up some crystal plays um, last week. Um, and I'm trying to see uh, if I can at least get mirror D crystals. The mirror E crystals are just not going through because they get dried really fast. So, and the system is not working properly, so it's not um, going anywhere at the moment. So I'm gonna have to go to Diamond and do the crystals for mirror E at Diamond, uh, well, at the Howell complex uh, near Diamond. Um, but at least, you know, I can do that at some point. Um, Updates from the essays from um, Adrian. He mentioned the past month uh, we've been doing a lot of synthesizing of uh, compounds, repurification to re try to remove some phosphate contaminations that they were finding, uh, and consolidation of the essays. So yeah, any new data has already been sent, and new data is awaiting the new synthesis of the substrates. Um, yeah, what is, oh, I, I saw your, your email on the WY93P compound. Right. Um, that compound, I think I still have enough left to do crystals so I could set up some crystal plates. Yeah, so on that one, actually, I was going to ask, uh, Yu Hong, I mean, I don't know how much was made of that, so Yu Hong, so, um, that compound is interesting in the context of, you know, on the pyrazole, it's not in, you don't have N-methyl on the pyrazole. So I'm thinking that there might be a different binding mode for that compound. And so I'm thinking that that's actually a compound that might be worthwhile sending actually also to SSGCID to get the pseudomonas mirror C structure. So I guess it was a question of, you know, what, how much material might be available for that. I don't know how much you made, of that, you know which compound we're referring to? It's 9,3, which is the desmethyl on the pyrazole? 9,3. Uh, Correct. 9,3, uh, that, that one that one we had the crystallography for that. Uh, uh, Peter Peter did that uh, with Pseudomonas Originals and Mercy. The, the PDB code was 8D of uh, F. Okay. Okay, I somehow I missed that then. Oh no, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I have, I have. Uh, if you guys ref, uh, go to the today's, um, right? Let let me share the screen first. Uh, if we go to here. I've I have made a list uh, with the AZ compound with the PD, their PDBs and biological data, and I think the compound you're referring to is this one, right? Like uh, 
I'm pretty sure this structure is the one I made with the code WH93. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I, made, I made loads of it. Uh, okay. I still have something in stock. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the PDB is 8 DOF. Right. Okay. Sorry, I missed that. Thank you. No, no, no worries. The, the, the body model is pretty much similar. So uh, right. I did overlay with uh, AZ595 and other, uh, and this structure. Okay, all right. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done that as well. I just uh, brain freeze here or whatever that I didn't I didn't double check on that. So yeah, thank, thanks, thanks a lot for getting me straight on that. Uh, no worries, no worries. So yeah, that's that. Um, that's good. We could also try others as well. Uh, I do think I have more for those series here enough to make crystals um spr we got on the um, in the list of things to discuss there was some a comment i made last time that i was waiting for spr sensors um it hasn't changed and the news from cytiva are not good so it looks like the production is not going well on the spr sensors so i'm looking into other providers basically so I can order sensors from somewhere else. Um, yeah, and the, that's it from the OSU side. Uh, sorry, from the Warwick side. I don't know if you want to do more, um, go more into the chemistry. Uh, I think Edwin was submitting some synthesis um, in GitHub, right? Uh, yes, we can quickly go through that. Uh, do you want me to open it or? Oh, I can share. Okay. Okay. So this is J06, um, which Daniel was working on before he finished up. He was trying to do a radical uh, coupling to get this uh, heterocycle with the fennel ring, but he was having issues. So I'm trying this other method and I'm currently up to this uh, hydrazide intermediate, but I'm also having trouble cyclizing. Um, so that's what I'm currently working on. Uh, and then these compounds here are derivatives of AW9, who our other postdoc Eve has been working on. So she's remade uh, the main compound and then she'll uh, do a few of these other derivatives shortly. And then finally, it's uh, these compounds from Eway. Uh, so she's made AW53, and these are all the plants derivatives. So different N alkylations and different uh, benzene substitutions. Um, so yeah, that's currently the chemistry we have going on. Yeah, it looks good. Um, yeah, we, we'll have to organize when to ship all the enamine compounds as well, but we'll see how many of these we can finish off as well to include at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hi, Ed, I was just, just a quick question. I was wondering what the rationale is between behind the, the dichlor and the dimethoxy yeah. derivatives. Uh, Do you know? Well, I think it's just what we had in the lab. Um, Fair point. <laughs> That's valid. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. So Iwe is just one of our uh, master students, so she doesn't yep. have too much time. So these are the ones okay. that we have immediately. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. Anyone else wants to update or anything? Yeah, I can go for it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so uh, according to mass request, I, I've uh, compiled all these data with the, uh, all these ASA compound with your PDBs and biological data currently we have uh, from the paper. So just for future references uh, and as for, uh, my personal design, uh, previously as we, uh, if you guys can see it uh, clearly, let me zoom in. Uh, so according to Laura's 
biological data, uh, uh, the SPR data, the uh, KD wasn't quite showing. Uh, sorry, uh, th uh, this compound was sent as the control compound, a uh, control compound, and this uh, aiming was showing good uh, uh, improvements in KD. Uh, it's tenfold, uh, it's ten times better. Uh, but in terms of the uh, MICs, uh, we have currently, sorry, I forgot to put it, put them in, but the MICs wasn't showing quite good. Then uh, I did the prediction uh, on entryway and it, it showed that the flexibility issue was potentially the problem, uh, was potentially the cause of the problem. Uh, there are seven rotatable bonds that didn't quite match their criteria. Therefore, I was thinking, okay, maybe we can add some rigidity here. And uh, luckily we do have this, this compound being tested in the original uh, Hamid paper. And uh, therefore I, I was thinking maybe just uh, transform this compound into the, its, uh, corresponding aiming amino derivative might help. And I did the predictions, both of these structures are uh, based on entryway, uh, were showing quite good, what uh, were matching up with their criteria. So not sure whether uh, you guys have any insights. Uh, do we need to make these? Because like making, uh, making this building block is quite a headache. So I'm not sure whether I need to devote uh, this much effort into this. But it looks nice though. So we haven't tested these two, right? Sorry? We haven't tested on anything these last two. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't. A star to be made. To be made. Okay, okay, okay. To be made. Yeah. I guess in general, I have some reservations about going, you know, putting all the effort into that. I guess um, mm -hmm. I think it would be good if we could get, you know, I know, I know we're still waiting um, from Warwick for some of the uh, profiling of, of these compounds, this kind of series and the other your ligases. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we're thinking about multi-targeting, I mean, one of the issues here is multi-targeting, right? I mean, it, overall, I mean, it, it, obviously if you had a pseudomonas only compound that had a wild type MIC, um, that would obviously be of great interest, but obviously you're we're kind of pretty far away. <laughs> From you know something that would be that would be clinically relevant, right? I mean, the jump from kind of where we are now yeah. to something that would be clinically relevant is is a wide canyon. So I, mean, I guess the, that's just that's just my thought. I mean, I think the question is, you know, in my mind, a little bit of you know, can we get some information about the product, you know, from the from the biology because uh, these have never been really tested fully. I mean, AZ only looked at Pseudomonas mirror C. Yeah. So we don't really have the data yet in hand to say how well, you know, we, we had, I guess there was some SPR data, I think from Laura at one point around your D, yeah. I think, I think was saying it was not active. Um, but I think we need to, there's, you know, get the biochemical data and, and kind mm -hmm. of get, get that nailed down. Um, you know, this is, like you said, I mean, this is a lot of heavy lifting from the chemistry side. Yeah. And so I think, I guess I would be, I guess my recommendation is to be, I guess, be more clear. From my side, I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest in that time yet to, to uh, make the okay. compound, because I think you're fairly far away. And I think the question becomes more, you know, one of the things now you're reminding me that, you know, you have the nine, the nine, so that the actual, you know, binding mode is is the same so yeah. the key with the asparagine is the is actually the yeah. amino the amino pyrazole portion yeah we're carrying around a lot of like you know the adenine or this uh the pyrazole of pyrimidine the, the 
quote the scaffold yeah is you're carrying a lot of weight there yeah. and and complexity yeah. so so even you know do you go back to something like just the diamino pyrimidine so you drop off i mean how much are you gaining from the fuse six six five system right um yeah, yeah. anyway i just 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 some thoughts i mean I, I, again you know there's two ways to look at this there's the you know um sorry kind of the academic you know trying mm -hmm. to, to put together a phd or a master's program and and, and exploring and learning yeah. uh that, that there's there's great value in that but from a drug discovery ultimate goal of multi-targeting i think we don't have the data yet to kind of nail down, you know, this is a as a scaffold for multi-targeting. Mm. Okay, so right because uh, because I saw uh, I did some investigation on the on the actual binding mode, then this basically this part was locked, so there's no way uh, there's no room for us to change to actually to really to do do any changes to this structure so that's well that's the binding mode right so then yeah the binding yeah, mode yeah. so so i guess uh, you Han, again I, and i said several a month or two ago or yeah. a month ago you and i i mean i sent you you i think you and and matt you know the idea yeah. again i think this might be an area where to think about you know this idea of the the cc for carb library mm -hmm. yeah um and maybe i i still feel like it's we don't need we have enough data from the structural viewpoint to me mm. as a computational chemist from a structural viewpoint we could we can make a strong uh proposal for a library yeah um so i don't know that's just kind of you and matt to work out are you willing to go that route or are you going to want to wait you know you can hear from laura that right now the assays are still um in progress there's not you know they're, they're working through some issues um so anyway Sorry, I'll just stop there. But I mean, I'm, I'm, again, I'll just offer again, if you want any help, if you want to move forward with the library I'm, I'm, uh, proposal, I'm happy to help with that. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I think yeah. going after, I mean, you have a rationale for what, you know, to make this amino, make it more rigid. That's, you know, there's a, you can write up a nice rationale and in terms of writing a paper, you can make the compounds. That's just a lot of, and there's no, that that's okay to do that. I'm just skeptical that, it's going to get you into, you know, a significantly better space, I guess, at this mm. point. Right. But thanks. That's that's one person's opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But thanks for the insight. It's really, really helpful. Thanks. Uh, and as for the rest of that, with the Young's pr predictions, so I'm still working on that. Uh, these are these black ones are the plans. This has been already made and stored in the bulk form. So uh, I'll send both entries once made. Uh, once made all these, I'll send both entries, bulk form and deep protected form. So that's basically my plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, thanks. Good, thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know if anyone else has any of the updates. As I said, for the essays, um, they are stocking up on the synthesis things and repurifying things uh, for removing the phosphate, um, but they are working quite successfully towards that. So yeah, we're expecting we can go back to normal soon. Um, yeah, and I don't know if anyone has any more comments, questions. Bart, do you know what's the protein situation of the SSGCID? Do you have enough for Pseudomonas or Acetinobacter? Uh, I don't know exactly, but I know that they're in our queue for upscaling and sending to Scott. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't know what step they're in right now. Um, okay. Yeah, I hope. Um, maybe if I cannot get the Enamina, we'll talk to Laurie and she might be able to send instead. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. see uh, what the tech team says today. Okay. Yeah, I certainly don't have more updates. Um,
an additional 35 minutes back in the day is always a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> but let me know, Laura, if uh, if you run into issues with Enamine, I'm, I'm happy to try and um, connect with them from this. Yeah, end. it seems like Enamine is fixed now. Now the problem is here. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. Maya, I don't know if you want to continue with the meeting or leave it there. I guess we are finished. Yeah, I think, oh, I, think I don't have any more. I wish I had more updates. I wish I had more updates. Uh, it's, you know, it's just, and it's a bit of stuff for the past weeks here. So, yeah. Okay, right. I guess I'll just stop recording. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you.